domestic abuser be cured? Well, the Israeli government is funneling $50 million in funding towards combating domestic violence. And part of that money is going to new treatment programs for abusers to see if they have any impact. Take a look. My name is Igor, and 10 years ago, I was arrested for abusing my wife physically and verbally. She filed a restraining order against me, and after going through trial, I was given two options, to go to jail or to go through treatment. So that's what I did, and it changed my life. For the last decade, Igor has been in therapy designed for men who have a history of domestic violence so that he can unlearn his abusive behavior. And today, he serves as a guidance counselor for other batterers in a unique program. They're all living in Israel's first government-funded apartment for men who have been restrained from their families for being violent. In exchange for housing, these men need to commit to getting treatment. I grew up seeing abuse. My father would beat my mother. I was raised in Uzbekistan in a society where it was believed that a man is better than a woman, that the husband should be in charge of the wife. When I went into therapy, I didn't think it would change anything. I was deeply depressed and I blamed my wife for everything. I thought she was the reason that I would get so angry and do bad things. But after I began treatment, it helped me understand how my behaviors were wrong and how I have to take responsibility for my actions. Since the start of the coronavirus pandemic, domestic violence reports have skyrocketed. And in the last year alone, the Israeli Welfare Ministry has seen a 10% increase in calls to its domestic violence hotline. Most of the time, after men have been reported for being abusive, they find themselves in the hands of the police or the courts with a restraining order that doesn't allow them to go back home for days or even months. And they become lost and even angrier with the partners they've been abusing. This is where we come into the picture. We don't want them going back home without the tools to control themselves because they end up going home and still being violent to their families or in their new relationships. So we want to treat them. Avri Sutton is a social worker and the manager of this apartment in central Israel, which houses up to six men getting therapy for abusing their partners and families. It's the first of four that are being planned by the welfare ministry to try and flip the script on how domestic violence is addressed in Israel. The primary reason we're helping these men is to stop them from reoffending. Each man who comes to the apartment must go through six months of treatment. Here he has a place where he can sleep and where he can eat, a base to come back to after he goes to work. None of these men are allowed to stay in the apartment unless they're working. And at night, when they get home from work, they have treatment. They have group therapy, they have guidance counselors and social workers who train them how to deal with their anger. Israel doesn't require compulsory treatment for abusive men. A violent man can seek help from centers for the prevention and treatment of domestic violence. But government data shows that only about a quarter of those being treated in these centers are men, and the rest are battered women and children. In the United States, it's different. Domestic abusers are rarely sent to prison. Instead, they're often sent to a special kind of class designed to teach them to refrain from physical violence. The methods employed by these groups, known formally as batterer intervention programs, educate men about how their abusive behavior mimics the repressive structure of the patriarchy. But can you cure a domestic abuser? So if a person has difficulties with emotion regulation, then learning about the patriarchy and why violence against women is wrong isn't necessarily going to help you learn new behaviors, learn to understand your emotions, and be able to manage them better. Most studies show that better intervention programs have a minimal effect on whether participants continue to abuse their partners. So this isn't to say that we shouldn't have intervention for people who cause harm. What I think it means is that we need to have more tailored intervention. 50% of the men who go through our treatment make it through the first three months here in Ramat Gan. And many will continue their treatment for years, but a lot of men fail to make it through their treatment because they refuse to recognize their mistakes. It comes down to this. Rehab won't work for men who aren't willing to change. I don't want to get back to being an abuser, and I hope that I won't. I can't tell you what will happen tomorrow, but for the last seven years, I've been in a healthy relationship, and I now have the tools to control my anger and communicate, and I hope to help other men like me who also have open hearts. Well, joining us now is Iris Florentine. She's a deputy director general of social services in the welfare ministry, who also heads the intra-office committee to battle domestic violence. So 
In 2021, the Israeli government announced that about $50 million in funding is going to go towards Israel's plan to combat domestic violence. And how much of this funding is going to projects just like this one that we saw to rehabilitate abusers? Good afternoon. 37 million out, out of 155 million shekels, which the Israeli government has brought for treating men and women in domestic violence. As we started treating, we give, we opened homes like the one in Ramat Gan. We opened treatment for men out of the courts. We opened special treatments for men one minute before. Come to the treatment before you cannot stop your anger. Of course, we have special homes for other men coming to treatment. And the other budget is going to women, children, and family. And of course, to say that the right method or mission, no violence in the families, no murders in the families. So what are some of those other key programs that government funding is going to? The right treatment is the, to give treatment to all the family together, for men, for women, for children. We have a special program called Aluma, which gives treatment in the community 25 hours of the day where women can come and say they have a problem and get the treatment and get sent to the right treatment setting to get the right treatment. And since since July this year, 120 women came to that treatment setting and were sent to treatment. 70 specialists came to ask questions about it and 20 women came to be there for a night or two so they will be farther far from the violence at their homes. A lot of work is done in the area of campaigns. We have special TV campaigns. And the main issue is no violence in Israel. Violence is not acceptable. We're opening a special treatment also for children. Children that are in families that are have violence in the families. And this treatment will be a special treatment with all the settings all over Israel to give a treatment there where the children can come and get special treatment the minute they come to me.